Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another meal prep video. Today we're doing a bunch of stuff that we can dump right from the freezer into our crock pot and have a meal ready by dinner time, which is honestly one of my favorite things. It's such a time saver and it's just a really great concept. Some of these I've tried before, some of these will be new recipes. Either way, they all sound really good and it's kind of a rainy day today. I'm like in a sweater, drinking my coffee, and it's perfect timing to be making slow cooker meals. Even though we're not gonna be eating all of them today or making all of them today, I still think it's kinda great because these are the type of days that it's so nice to have something going in the slow cooker. You're smelling it throughout the day and it's just oh, so warm and cozy. Before we get started today, I do have some dishes and that's one thing when I'm doing meal prepping, especially a lot of it, um, I like to start out with my dishwasher being empty, my dishes being done, the counters wiped off, just kind of some things, you know, tidied up around the kitchen. So we're gonna take a couple minutes to tidy up before we go ahead and dig into cooking. start out by making some white chicken chili this is also keto friendly and what I'm gonna do is actually dice up this chicken and put it in the gallon bag dump all the rest of my ingredients in with it and so that it's ready to just be dumped into the crock pot and can sit all day long whenever I pull it out of the freezer As you can see, these ideas are super simple. I'm just kind of putting them in a bowl first to mix everything together before I put them into the freezer bag. This is a sausage and peppers, um, and then the idea is that you put it in the crock pot, have it cook up together all day, and then you eat it over some rice or cauliflower rice. So I'm going to actually take this out of the links um, just by cutting the end and squeezing it and so that it's in pieces of the sausage. I'm gonna cut up the peppers and the onion and then it has like a Cajun seasoning in it. I think this is gonna be a really simple dinner idea.
I think this is the recipe I'm most excited about trying just because I love this recipe regularly. And then this one is sugar free and a little bit more on the keto friendly side. So it's called grape jelly meatballs. If you guys have made these before, basically you make up meatballs and then you add in grape jelly and chili sauce and you put them in the crock pot and they're super delicious, they're a great appetizer. So what I'm gonna do first is actually make up the meatballs. They have pork rinds in them, they have Parmesan cheese, and they're a mixture of beef and then also some ground sausage and some mayo. Mix them all up, put them on some parchment paper on a cookie sheet and put them in the oven and bake them up because you do need pre-made meatballs for this recipe. So then I'll put them into a Ziploc um, for the freezer and then I will also be mixing in the chili sauce and then I actually found raspberry jam which was another suggestion on the recipe. So I'm going to do this and put it in the freezer and then the other things I have planned to go along with this is mashed cauliflower and then just cook up peas. So doing cooked meatballs, peas, and mashed cauliflower is a dinner that we do pretty regularly and this will be a new meatball version for us to try. Now I'm gonna make some blue cheese buffalo burgers. I'm excited about this. We really like the blue cheese flavor in things. So it's pretty simple. You just take some buffalo sauce and some blue cheese, put it in here. Like I said, I'll leave the recipe below. And then I'm also gonna pair this up with some sweet potato fries. So I'm going to make these halfway in my air fryer. So I'll put them in at 400 for, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes or so. I'll check the tenderness, kind of like half way to where I would want them to normally be and then I will flash freeze them and when I use the term flash freeze it just really means laying something out flat and freezing it through and then you can kind of pick up the fries frozen and put them into a bag it's just so they don't stick together I'll be doing the same thing with the burgers so I'll be making up the patties laying them out flat letting them get frozen and then putting them into the bag and this will be a great meal to pull out and make really quickly
if you've watched my channel for a while, you may have seen me make my roast before, and this is pretty much how I make it most of the time. So whenever I put it in the crock pot, I put the roast in, I put a stick of butter on top, I put some Worcestershire sauce on it, and I put some carrots in, and then slice up an onion, put some salt and pepper, maybe a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder, that kind of thing. And then I let it in all day. But I'm going to go ahead and have all of this ready for me in my freezer so I can pull it out put it right in and I don't have to worry about um, peeling the carrots or getting anything else out. I have never tried it this way, I've never like prepared it beforehand. So I will make a note to let you guys know in a coming video soon uh, how this turned out and if it was just as good as whenever I put it together uh, fresh. So I'm gonna peel up the carrots and get it all mixed up and throw it in the freezer. This next recipe I have made before. It's super simple and it's definitely a good staple in the freezer. And that is to do some chicken fajitas. So all you'll need to do is have some chicken breast. You wanna cut it up in strips. Then I have some onion, some pe bell peppers, and then I'll be adding in some olive oil and some onion powder, chili powder, cumin, and garlic. I probably will just shake them in as I go because um, you can kind of adjust whatever flavors you like the most. So when you pull it out of the freezer, all you have to do is dump it in the crock pot or slow cooker and let it on low and then you're ready to go. And then I just like to keep these in the freezer as well. I can pull them out either in the morning when I put everything in the crock pot or even right before we eat. And then I just toast them in the frying pan a little bit before we load them up. Another thing that we use is like sour cream, avocado, a little salsa, just to kind of load up your fajita. Okay, I finished everything up and um, I've been really liking these reusable bags. They work really well. I haven't had anything go bad in the freezer or anything like that. Um, and all of these, I believe, can be on low all day. So you could leave them in um, for at least six hours 
and let them cook make sure the meat is obviously cooked through all of that and this one here you could do I would probably do this in the bottom of the crock pot for four hours on high I think that if you did it on low the burgers would fall apart or you could just pull these out and put them right in the frying pan and then the fries you could do either in an air fryer if you have one or you can just do them in the oven and heat them until they get a little bit crispy I would put them in at 400 frozen right out of the oven I'm really happy with all of these I think they're all gonna be delicious some of them we've had before um, like the fajitas and the roast and these burgers are super good. I actually pulled out a few. Corey and I just ate some of them. Um, but I'm so glad that I was able to get all this together. This is going to give us some great meals for this next week. And ones that I don't have to make the kitchen messy. And they're already ready for me. Thanks a lot for joining me in my kitchen today, you guys. I hope this gave you some inspiration for some freezer meal ideas. And if you're new here, I'd love it if you subscribed. Don't forget to give this video a like. Leave me a comment below. I love reading your comments. Also, don't forget to check out the description box. I will leave the links for everything below. And I'll see you guys in my next video.